Building the window seat for Sharon was a, uh, a welcome respite from the plaster of Paris, but now it's time to get back to work on that. So what I'm going to do today is fill them up with uh, great stuff foam and prepare them for the sarcophagus lid. <laughs> So I'm going to start with the legs first, and Paul at Mad City Haunt just uh, recommended spraying the interior with uh, water and also the surface of the great stuff with water to help uh, speed up the cure time. But he said to be careful because this is plaster of Paris, you can't really soak it in water. But if I put a, just a small uh, layer of uh, water down just to moisten it and then put the great stuff over the top should help cure the bottom. Then when I spray over the top of it, it'll uh, help cure that as well. I initially said I was gonna cut the legs up when I, uh, before I did this. However, these are actually kind of flimsy. If you look, they actually, they're pretty flexible. And I'm not sure if that's just the, the size of the uh, piece that's allowing it to flex like that, or it's that uh, gauze that I used the other um, parts, like the torso, where I use the uh, more expensive gauze, I mean, that's a pretty hard shell. We're not getting that with this. So I definitely wouldn't recommend using the medical gauze from the medical supply store. Uh, just the regular store gauze seemed to provide a better uh, hold on this. So because this is so flexible, I'm going to fill it up with the foam first, and then I'll need to cut it to fit how I want it to look on the uh, sarcophagus lid. I'm not going to go too far in there yet. Put a little bit in there, and then I'll just start at the top work my way down. mold that I used, the form, and I filled that up with the great stuff as well. Now this is just like the torso, so I'm thinking that this is a, maybe because of the uh, the size or something, but even so it still doesn't, it feels more fabric-y than plaster of Paris. So particularly in the legs, I think this is really going to help. I'm going to put these in the sun, hopefully that'll help them cure a little bit faster too. And I'm going to bring the torso over and I'm going to uh, cut that open in half. Now, having already cut it once along here, I plan on cutting it back up here. And I hope that doesn't like affect it. And instead of using that knife, let's use a cutter. <laughs> I think that's going to give it a, a better look, like that. So, let's get some foam in here. And 
like the others, I'll put this in the sun because it does seem to be having an effect. These look like they're coming along nicely. They're filling up. Oh, no, even starting. They're even hard. It started to set, so that's good. Come back with some more foam after this completely sets, and we'll do some more. The arms are going to be different because they're actually going to be whole on top of the body. So I'm going to wait before doing anything with these arms until I get the body together. But I'll eventually fill them in foam like I did with this one. Remember this guy? I figured while we're waiting for the uh, great stuff foam to cure, I'll work on uh, his arms. I think the arm actually does look better than this. I'm not crazy about the shoulders, but I think I still have to fill out the chest too. Alright, not perfect. But generally, I think a better shape anyway. I think I'll leave it like that for now. And as I said, keep my eye open for some kind of small something. Maybe like the packaging, like the bubble wrap packaging. All right, this is actually set up really well now. It's only been like an hour or so. So I'm gonna fill up <clears throat> the rest of these blank areas with some more great stuff. So I'm going to spend the rest of the afternoon while these are curing to clean up the workspace downstairs where I was doing all this plaster of Paris. It's a f***ing disaster and it needs to be cleaned up. All right, if you like what you see, give the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel if you don't already do so. Okay, thanks for watching.